And then she finally came out at quarter past 11 and then seemed a bit disorientated, didn't have a bag, came to the wrong side of the car. What? So I was a bit concerned at that point. Did anything happen with any boys, Mia? Karma, don't go near the edge. You can hold my hand and have a look at the edge, look. At least it's not too far down. Look at that. It's not too far down, it's really far down, Sienna. What are you talking about? I don't know why you're worried about Karma. She will listen. It's oh yeah, true. There's Koa, he is so fearless. There's nowhere to sit indoors, so... I know. Well, I do like outside though. Yeah. But only when it's me and you See how it goes. <laughs> Not yeah. actually with Take the kids. Take a seat, Kamzi. It's inside there, there is actually like a little kids play area which they can play with, but there's loads of people there. But maybe you could grab a toy though, with Sienna, you and Koa, to play yeah. with. You yeah. could go and bring a, go toy get a toy out. Yeah? Yeah? Share that with indoors. Time. Indoors. That way, through that sliding door. This is a vegan's worst nightmare. You come to your cafe and you notice all of these delicious vegan options and then it says, not available. Not available. I'm so sad! But, I was so excited there was sourdough bread for the bagel. But they do have the bowls. Like Hang there's. On. How come you're just like a pirate? <laughs> I just realised you're a Christmas pirate. Christmas pirate? <laughs> There's a um, papaya peanut butter bowl. That sounds nice. It's got peanut butter in it, Karma. Lots and lots of nut butter. I don't want lots of nut butter. Did you just hear that? Because it'll get stuck in my mouth. Because it'll get stuck in her mouth. Okay, then we'll ask them to put a little bit in it. I think we should all go for the papaya peanut butter because that sounds really good. And then also, Dan, you'll be happy to know they have a matcha tea. Oh, nice. Matcha latte, that sounds nice, doesn't it? We'll ask for soy milk and then, yeah, it looks good. I am a bit tempted though. Look at the, the drinks menu and look how much is like, dedicated to coffee. Look, they've got fully washed, they've got all these bulletproof coffee, flat white, loads of different ones in there. All the cold brews, you know, all those contraptions now. They've yeah. got them all here, but yeah. Well, let's stick to our matcha, let's not break our screen. For me. A special glove for you. Yeah. First time, I was just thinking about, like, if any of your parents, you'll know how amazing it is when you go to a cafe or a restaurant and they have a toy box for kids. Darren, isn't it amazing when there's toys, yeah, yeah. like oh, new 100%. ones for them? Sorry, I was just trying to um, promote the video. Yeah. Video Some well. Wi-Fi issues going on right now. That We came here and we were like, because the video's coming out, we want to promote it. Normally we do it at home, but we wanted to come out for breakfast because when we woke up this morning, Mia was just still asleep, so we thought that she really needs to lay in. She basically looked really tired last night, you said, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. She yeah, came she back was... late. What time did you actually get in? Uh, well, there's a lot of complications, so I'll probably tell you about those when we talk to her later on. If you yeah, but, oh, okay, um, no we way. Up, we got back at like 11.45. Oh, right, yeah. oh. So it's pretty loud. Did she wake you up when she came into the bedroom? Well, I was like really dozy, but I sort of, I like heard her coming. Oh, right. But I, I didn't went, know like, that. Straight back oh, to oh so when you said to me this morning, you said, because basically I woke up really tired this morning because I tried to stay up as late as I could. So I was planning all of Mia's birthday pie. I know that seems pretty like well in advance, but because we're in Costa Rica, some th of the things I need to order in and I don't want to risk them getting held up in customs, like sweets and things like that and like makeup things. So obviously I'm planning her party and also ordering her presents. So I tried to stay up as late as I could doing that for her because I thought that was really fun that she's at a party, a birthday party and I'm planning her birthday party. But then I got really tired in the end. But I also tried to go to bed as early as I could because this little boy Koa, look how cute he is. <laughs> okay, okay, calm down. I always speak too soon with Koa, don't I? And he's the sweetest little boy as well though. <laughs> timing of that oh my goodness so he likes to wake up about 5 a.m so i have to go to bed really early to help with that early wake up so this morning darren i woke up didn't i and i said how tired i was but then you said you went to bed at 12. so i thought he said he went to bed at 12 because he like he picked me up came home and then he had a shower and things and cleaned his teeth and then no, made... no i was ready for bed before i, I know that's why i, I wondered why you things. went to bed at 12. i did think that was funny yeah. Yeah. I did think why? Why? yes please my eyes okay. broken, mommy. Your eyes broken? Oh dear. Yeah. Ah, but it's because something happened. Oh, I really want to know, Darren. Oh, well, I can tell uh, you now if you want. No, let's I wait. Just want to hear I want to wait. Because I didn't really get a chance to speak to Mia last night. So. Oh, so we need to hear her side of the story. Yeah. But yeah, so we thought we'd leave the house this morning and let Mia get up in her own time because the babies get up super early. So we'll come out for breakfast. 
and so far it's going well, isn't it? Dad's doing YouTube stuff. Karma and Kara are playing nicely. And I'm trying to work out if this is a piece of chalk or a piece of crayon. It looks like crayon to me, wax crayon. I know. This time I feel like we're a little bit adventurous, why aren't we, Dad? Getting two hot drinks when there's going to be three bowls coming because that means there's got to be three foot, five hands bodyguard and feet and all the hot drinks. No, but and stopping them from jumping off the balcony. Oh. And stopping them, literally the man came out and he put it here and the car was like, like the man doesn't know, does he? But um, he didn't know that the babies were like going nuts for it. <coughs> but look how good that looks. That looks a good matcher. I need to taste test it first because what happens is you can get different qualities of matcha. You can get like the cheaper matcha, but it's very bitter. And then the higher quality matcha, which is quite expensive for how much you get, tastes super sweet and fine. So me and Dan, we treat ourselves to the ceremonial grade, don't we, when we buy it? Because we've tried the cheaper ones and they just don't cut it, do they? But I'm a bit offended. Sorry, but look, I don't agree with this because we don't drink coffee. So that means we're bad people. No, but it's just saying good people drink good coffee as opposed to drinking bad coffee. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, that works. But no, good people drink good matcha. Ah, oh, well. Oh, thank you. Let's make right, some be space. careful, guys. So right, the babies are going to go. Thank you. Wow, they look beautiful, don't they? <laughs> yeah. You and Cara yeah, can have are. the fruit on mine if you want. <laughs> Good. You can there. try some colour. It's, it's not as good as your match we had this morning. You made the best of us. Okay, you're trying all three, Kara, yeah? You want to try that one and that one and oh, this one? Well, how about Sienna's? Right, so there you go. I know that you probably are happy you don't have the star as star fruit, honey. Is that good? <laughs> Yeah, well. Babies, you've already had your breakfast. This is breakfast number two. And Mum, I haven't had my breakfast yet. I'm really hungry. Look how colourful that looks. So pretty. I was not eating it, but he just won't let Karma go near it. He is such Can a boy, boy, isn't he? He gets very, like, territorial. In the car, if he has a nap, he has to have all the toys on his lap. Then he hugs them, then he falls asleep, doesn't he, Karma? You're so patient with Karma, though, aren't you? Yeah. Even when he donks all the toys on your head. Very patient, because you know he's just a little baby and he's going to grow out of it, and then you two are going to be the best sister of buddies and play really nicely together. Mia! Well, hi! Hi! Yeah, you? Yeah. Good morning, I haven't seen you since yesterday, Mum. <laughs> Dad said that, right, he hasn't told me what, because we were in a cafe, but he said that you got back at 12, not 11. At 12? Yeah, I got... Like so, quarter to 12? Yeah. And then Dad didn't go to bed. Dad went to bed really late because there was some drama. Or something. It wasn't quarter. It was I. What? I came out at like fifteen past eleven. Yeah, but then we couldn't get in because they'd closed the front oh, gate. Oh, right, yeah. What? <laughs> what happened? No, the reason that we got back at quarter to twelve, this fam, is because two things. First of all, I arrived I at five to eleven. I was silly. Five to eleven. Before Mia left, I'd confirmed twice, definitely eleven o'clock, she said yeah. And then Georgie yeah. was messaging her earlier, or yeah. later, should I say, but earlier yeah, than eleven yeah. o'clock, like about nine o'clock, and I said, to Georgie, can you just double check with Mia whether she wants to be picked up at 11 or would she like to be picked up earlier? Yeah. Just in case things weren't going how she wanted them to, like if she felt uncomfortable there or anything, I just wanted to give her the option if she could leave earlier if she wanted to. Yeah. She confirmed with mum, didn't you? Yeah, you wanted to be picked up at 11. I arrive at 5 to 11, I'm just like oh, su early, sussing it all out, seeing what's going on, waiting outside, just patiently waiting. First of all, I start seeing like people come out and they are proper just like, and so this guy comes up to the car, yeah, he's like 20 odd, comes up to the car and he said something in Spanish, don't know what he said. And, oh, uh, you don't, you, you can right. understand Spanish but not and, Spanish. Yeah, and um, <laughs> I said I'm just here to pick up my daughter, Mia. And there's a, hey, hey, tranquilo, which is like, chill. And I'm, okay, right, okay. <laughs> just did up the electric window, see ya! I don't do this stuff anymore, mate, thanks. I'm not that age anymore. I don't need to participate in any of this drunken nonsense. Carried on waiting. Time no ticked way. by. I'm like, right, it's it five was... past. So it's... he actually got this. I'm like, it's five past. It's night. ten past. Then I'm like, right, I don't have data on my phone. I'm just going to see if there's a Wi-Fi signal just to... Because what I didn't want to do was be like the dad thing where I go and like knock on the door and because I thought just be patient. Mia's probably having a nice time. She just hasn't checked the time recently. She doesn't know what's going on. As soon as, soon as she sees the time, she's gonna come out. So I just carried on waiting anyway because there wasn't a Wi-Fi network for me to, to message her with. 
and then she finally came out at quarter past 11 and then seemed a bit disorientated, didn't have a bag, came to the wrong side of the car. What? So I was a bit concerned at that point. What? No, I didn't but drink anything. No, I know you didn't. I, I like, could you tell you tell. didn't because I'd have been able to smell it immediately. But when she came to the wrong side of the car and then was like, I was like, the other side, Mia. And then she's like, oh, hang on, I just need to go and get my bag. And then like, then you had to go back in. And Did I was, you get I, worried? I wondered what was going on, yeah. I wondered oh, what no. the delay was. Sorry. What was going on, but I think she'd... She's just tired. No, 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 I'll tell you what she'd done. Because then um, I'd left at 10 to 11 from here, or like quarter to 11 from here. And she had messaged me like a minute after I left here. And obviously oh. my phone was plugged into the internet connection here. And she said, are you still coming at 11? And then there'd been another one after that, at like 11.01 saying, Darren, question mark. But we'd confirmed 11, this is why I don't understand. We'd confirmed 11 three times. But then because she messages me at quarter to 11 and says, are you still coming at 11? And then because I've already left, so I haven't replied to her, then she thinks I'm not coming at 11. So it doesn't bother coming out till quarter past. How does that make any sense? It's not my fault because I kept joking and saying 11, 11. I just uh, didn't get how that made any sense. But yeah. anyway, yeah. so then obviously we have security where we live um, to be allowed to get in. And so I picked Mira up, we drove out, we came back to where we live and then there was nobody at the security <gasps> gate. And I was like, what? Maybe they closed at 11. I was like, Mia, if you'd have came out on time, there'd have been someone here. I was like, I don't know how to get in. There's some, maybe there's an access code. I don't know what the access code is. I've never, I don't even go out after dark. Like literally, oh I didn't know what the code was. was we sat there for a couple of minutes. We were trying to work out what to do. And so then I was like, I'm just gonna have to park my car here, literally at the security gate. And then we're gonna have to hop the fence. So then we parked, I reversed the car, parked as far off the road as I could. Then we went underneath the like railing fence. Underneath? Yeah, and then as we were walking up, then obviously security had seen us on the camera and then security came along just pointing a torch at us. And then he was wondering what we were doing and then I was like, oh, I couldn't get in. And then he said, so oh, I'll, said, I'll come and let you enter? in. And then like, I because they had obviously yeah. watched us on the cameras, yeah. seen me like you know doing a seventy-five point turn to get in, <laughs> to get off the road, and then seen us go underneath the railings and then oh, start because like, I was using the light off my phone as well Sorry. to like illuminate the path. You so took a wild time. Well, yeah. I didn't, but Mia obviously did have the party before was, that, presumably. Uh, what happened? It was like the, it was like a proper party. The other like parties I've been to weren't really like they were just a get like, together. More, yeah. It was so a proper, like, yeah, it was, it was, was a like full-on party. There's a DJ there, because I saw yeah. your stories on Instagram, and it was, yeah. all, like, it was all dark with all neon lights. Yeah, it, it was It was fun. I Did you dance? Yeah, I danced, yeah. but sometimes it does feel awkward, because like, I was like probably the youngest person there, to be honest. Everyone else, like, there was a couple of people my age who I knew, but like, not, I didn't really have like many super close friends there either. So yeah. sometimes it felt, you know, a little bit awkward. But, you know, I still had a nice time. I wouldn't want to go to them, like, all the time. Cause yeah. It's just a bit... Did you, know, you dare dance, though? Yeah. Well done. It's good. Do you have a Wait, good time? Is that like a yeah. 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 yeah, I knew it was like a time. I, I so did have a good time, yeah. yeah. You didn't do any tracking, though? No. The <laughs> record like Did you feel, like, under pressure, not from people, but just purely because, I presume everyone else is drinking, were they? Yeah. So did you yeah. feel like, because everyone else was drinking, did you feel a little bit under pressure from yourself, I mean, not from others? Yeah. I assume no one was like pressuring you to drink. But, no, no. But did you ever feel- I mean, feel... people did offer me a drink yeah. at times, but I'd just be like, Who was no. that guy who tried to start a dad and said, chill? I don't, the thing is, there was loads of people oh, right, I didn't know. Right, so then, during like the what? rest of the 20 minutes that I, sta that I was waiting outside in the car, then there were so many people who kept coming out. I think his name was like Stevie or something, Stevio or something I like that. Know who that is. So many people coming out, calling his name, looking for him, and I'm like, like I just don't. Obviously, I can't speak to him because I couldn't speak Spanish anyway. But I didn't know where he'd gone. He just wandered off behind some cars, and I didn't even know where he'd gone. But there was like 20 people coming out one at a time, and then they formed like a search party, like all looking for him, all shouting oh, no. this man's name. <laughs> oh, no, and he was just wandering no. around. And, and all what was going through my mind, I was like, Mia said to me earlier, no, no, people don't really drink a lot. They just have like a couple of friendly drinks. That's it. No one gets blind drunk. And I'm like, yeah. Yeah, so uh, yeah. that wasn't quite right. <laughs> yeah. yeah, well, yeah, it was, it was it an was, experience. Yeah. But I, like I said, there were probably maybe like, I don't know how many people, like four, 
40, uh, 40 more. people, I don't wow. Know. It was a lot of people. Did Pally have a good birthday then, did she? Did she yeah, I think she had a good birthday. The only thing is, someone, when she had her birthday cake. What? Yeah. No. Then, did they what, like, that? one of our really good friends smashed the cake in her face. <laughs> and then the cake fell on the floor. And then she went around to everyone because she was covered in cake and smeared cake on everyone. Including so everyone cake. was covered in cake. And I felt so bad when I left because the whole, like, Floor, their whole like house was covered in cake. Oh, don't oh, worry, that's no. a tame party. We've put all margarine over the walls of the house before. Don't worry about it. Wow. <laughs> all over the floor was covered in cake. Oh, no. It was disgusting. Oh no, her so parents. So no one got to eat the cake. Were her parents there? Oh, no. I'm, I'm I, a bit worried about your birthday party being at our house now. I'm not gonna have a actually, party. Actually, like I am that. the sort of mum though who would actually smash your face in the cake, wouldn't I? <laughs> <laughs> for a joke, for TikTok, but, then I bring out a real cake. Um, yeah, so she, cake all on the floor, and this was like when it just happened, obviously. Had a good time then, Mia. Yeah. And do you feel tired today? Oh, oh. I actually feel alright. Yeah, you can have a baby scream this morning. You turn the hair dryer on, Carmen, with your foot. I was a bit worried about you last night. Yeah. I tried to stay up late to um, wait, but I'm glad I didn't wait until gone midnight for you to come home. It wasn't gone midnight. But That's yeah. well funny that you and Dad got locked out and then got hey. had to get chased by security and like climb under yeah. fences. <laughs> That was the most eventful part of my night. Yeah. Coming back home with dad. Was everyone jumping in the pool as well? Because people yeah, kept wandering that... out in towels as well. Yeah, yeah, that's why I came out in a towel. Because um, we went in the pool as well. Yeah, that's what was I like thought. Did you have a swimmer costume with you? Yeah, I brought a swimming costume. Oh, for you, I was like, my friend, I was like hang on a minute, didn't he bring any swimming no, stuff? No, he texted me and said... Um, bring it, swimming thing. Yeah, it's fine. Ah, oh, cool, pool. that's nice. But people were going in, like people didn't bring swimming costumes, then people just jumped in with their clothes on. <laughs> well, at least they jumped in with their clothes on, I'm glad to hear yeah, that. Yeah, clothes on. Yeah. So what have you learned from your party experience then? Uh, people go wild for their birthday. Yeah. yeah, did you like it though? Did you have a nice time? I know you seem yeah. to feel well, a bit awkward sometimes, but yeah. did you overall have a nice time? Did yeah, I have a whole To be honest, I feel like parties in general I mean, I, I am generalising now, and I'm speaking for myself as well, but I feel like everyone goes through feeling a bit yeah. awkward at all times at a party yeah. anyway. Yeah. You have to like ease into it. Yeah, you? especially at the beginning, it feels more awkward than yeah. you get and more relaxed, more people come as well. Because like, it started very early, but like most people don't, like a lot of people didn't come until a bit later anyway, so. Oh, yeah. I think I've got a mosquito bite on my nose, so yeah. blood's coming off. Sorry about that, Chris. But yeah, have you noticed? So I want you want to get this one in there, so I keep trying to over talk you. But did you notice how alcohol changes people? Yeah, and it can make them disorientated and not know where oh, they yeah, are. Oh yeah, yeah. It's, it's, yeah. You can see why, like we're saying, like alcohol's not. <laughs> Like, oh, I'm just hit the fist, fam. No. Oh no, not a smear fingerprint, no! You can put yourself yeah, in an situation. Yeah, I saw how some of my friends felt a bit like disorientated and that just didn't, that doesn't like appeal to me. And like I could still like have fun and go to a party without having to do that. You know? Yeah, did you feel people's that? energy? Because we were speaking to some of my friends every day and they don't drink. And they said if you go out and you're around people who are drinking, you you can take on that energy and it's yeah. almost like as if you're exactly. a bit drunk because they're all hyper and energetic and it is yeah. sharing energy with people. You know, their their energetic party vibe can yeah you can exactly. pick up on yeah, that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like I don't need it. Yeah, that's really good. That's a yeah. good tip. If any of you don't want to drink and um, you're going to a party and you're a bit worried about it, just try and tap into other people's energy and then you can feel yeah. like all that alert, high energy sort of feeling that drunk people get. You know that confidence. You just also, also like just quickly cut in. Uh, just as we're doing some teaching points for this. Also, have a sparkling water with a slice of lemon or lime, and then it feels like and a bit of a snack. Just having something well. to drink. And yeah, you kept like drinking. Because like, when you hold like, on, oh, I was thirsty ah! anyway. Yeah, because so when, when you hold on to a drink, that gives you a bit of sense of confidence because you're doing yeah. something. Because some people feel like when you're not drunk at a party, like you feel a bit embarrassed to dance, or you don't know yeah. quite what to do. If you if you've got a drink in your hand, go onto the dance floor, and then just yeah. tap into people's energy, and just remember that yeah. they're all drunk. Yeah. You're they not. Don't, they don't know. They can't see it. That's the funny thing. Is it's like a confidence test to not drink because you have to like kind of pretend yeah. you're drunk because obviously drinking gives you more confidence, but it's well, fake yeah, confidence. Yeah. So if you're gonna go to a party and not drink, you have to like actually be confident and not like yeah. fake it, but like you're faking it yourself rather than. And then like you wake up. You don't know under the influence. 
happens. You don't have a hangover, you can remember yeah. everything that's happened, you obviously be a lot more safer and control of yourself on the night. Yeah. And it's just much healthier for your body. The next yeah. day you wake up and you can get on with And the rest you have of no day. regrets. Most yeah. importantly, you never yeah. wake up with any no. regrets. Yeah. yeah. And that's amazing. And you can still have a really good time. This is really like <laughs> encouraging maybe for young people, because when I was I'm young, yeah. not your age, but when I hit 18, I went out on my 18th birthday, I did what everybody else did on the council state, you go out, yeah. get completely drunk, and then I, because of that night was the first night I really had ever gone out clubbing, I've really associated going out clubbing, dancing, with drinking a yeah, lot of that's... alcohol, and I, I trained myself, that's the only way I could enjoy myself. And you know, I don't go out clubbing or anything or dancing anymore. I've got the babies, but if I was to go out again, I feel like that's still imprinted to me that I would need a drink. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So like, you're never gonna set yourself even when, up for that. Even when I am older, I don't want to like drink. Oh, I'm not really even good. like interested in some people. Like, I know they'll be like drink a little bit, like oh, obviously yeah. when they're yeah. old enough to actually, yeah. Drink. Um, but I think it's better just to be like. None at all because otherwise it's like it's a well, great you, you know yeah. exactly that's what I'm saying. It's me and Dad. Yeah. That's why me and Darren don't drink because oh yeah we could get some nice organic vegan wine or like you know those healthier options now. But me and Dad will just wonder like one or two drinks like where do you where do you stop the line? I feel like yeah. me and Dad would have a couple then we get a taste for it and we'd want more you know we'd just yeah. rather have zero alcohol. A kombucha is enough anyway. A kombucha, we actually kombuchas are, are like 0 0.05. They have like trace amounts of alcohol. And we're like, yeah. whoa. Yeah, I do know it's a relaxation effect from them, but none of the net, you know, I don't feel like it alters my consciousness at all, like how alcohol does. Yeah, it's a exactly. really nice yeah. grown up drink yeah. to have. That's what me and Darren have in the evenings. We have a kombucha and it's, it's quite relaxing. And I'm really glad that you girls, I don't um, obviously see this. Well, can I just mention what's. What? <laughs> Pirate. Yeah, um, I'm sorry, but do you want me to help you out? What do you mean? She's like, she's really expressing pretty. herself. I can make it look really pretty. She's going to fashion it. I'm, I'm just going to find that I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> I'm trying to be nice to you. I'm not saying this is an insult, but I can help you with your hair scarf if you want. It didn't look like that. It did look different. I know how to style. So we have to early. get ready really early this morning. I look a mess. Yeah, we just not. Like, look at my hair and that. I mean, I'm the one that stayed up until midnight, so... Yeah, but we wanted to and get me. out of the house so you could have yeah. a lay-in. Did you have a nice lay-in once yeah, we left? Because <laughs> Kerr woke up at 5am. Kerr's nappy leaked all over my pillow and there's Ew. poo everywhere. Ew. I woke up like, oh, it's... Yeah. It, it's just not a nice start to the day, so I'm glad you got to have a nice little lay-in, Mia. Oh, 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 right. Did anything happen with any boys, Mia? Come on. No. Are you no. sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Did you flat? Did you talk? No. Tiny bit. Did you see really. a crush there? He's my crush. You know? Yeah. He's Mia's boyfriend. I'm um, not Yeah. You did too. He's not my crush. Yeah. He, right, we're winding around. He was obviously at the party. Right. Mia said, right, this is how it all started. Mia said that he is just a matter of fact statement. He's a good looking boy. And then we've just like teased him. I think everyone friend. would agree. Yeah, she just said he's good looking. I'm, I'm not That's that's all. It. When it I doesn't, first met. You don't have to fancy someone have any feelings yeah. for them have a crush to say like an objective <laughs> statement that that person to me is good looking. You're good looking, huh? Doesn't mean Oh, thank you. You have a crush on you. No, exactly. So why can't it be the same? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So this is what I get worried about. You're my daughter and I think you went to the party looking all beautiful and that. I just get worried that um, people might like try and hit on you. Not That's really. what I'm worried about. I don't really think about you. Like, I'm just more worried about you being there. I know that everybody there is like really nice, kind people, and Paulina looks after you, and I trust that you're safe there. But yeah. still, that is in the back of my mind. That's you know, some might think, oh, that girl, Mia, she's very pretty. <laughs> you know, and like, yeah, I just get worried about that. I'm sure Darren does as well. Like, that's what all dads do. Yeah. Like, I'm surprised that he didn't tell you to go. Like in the like a really long like carrier bag. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm oh. really glad that it went well, Mia. Yeah. I'm really glad. I'm glad you had a good time. I did, yeah. And you're like Thank really you. responsible and I can trust you even more now, Mia. Uh-huh. Love you, Mom. Love you too.